Hello everyone, it's Yvette with Polished After 60. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I wanted to get back with you guys on a couple of things. Um, I did have a subscription box that I received a few days ago. That was the Natalie Attired. And I mentioned to you that one of the pieces did not fit. So I wanted to get back with you ladies because they did send me a replacement. So this is the replacement top that they sent me. It's quite cute. I'll show you in a sec how I've styled it. Now, for those of you guys who may be new to my channel, thank you very much for stopping by. My channel is all about um, tips for the more mature woman. So those of us who are age 60 and above, I go through fashion and beauty, uh, makeup, a lifestyle, just a little bit of everything. So if you think that you guys might be interested, um, please consider subscribing to my channel. So guys, thank you so much for all the lovely um, comments that you have been leaving me. Varsha, thank you so much. Uh, Maria, thank you. And all of you ladies, um, you just make my day. Um, I did want to say that I did get a comment from, I believe it was Wanda. She was asking me a, about a particular color that I was wearing. I think it was an olive color. And she said that she was similarly, um, uh, her color is similar to mine. And she thought that she, whenever she wears olive, um, people say that she looks tired or it's not her best color. And my response to her was, and this is what I sometimes do, and that is when I am wearing a color that doesn't, isn't one of my colors, right? One of those colors that are perfect for me. Um, I tend to look at the makeup that I'm wearing. I may up the lipstick a little bit or the blush. You know, you might consider wearing a coral colored blush or a rosy toned blush and that sometimes help. And if it doesn't, you might consider an accessory, a scarf or something that um, complements the color and looks um, is one of those colors that you look your most beautiful with. So anyway, ladies, here is the top that Natalie Attired sent me. And I have just um, styled it with a pair of um, straight cut jeans and a pair of um, uh, little clogs, okay? So here you go. I think the top is very cute. Um, I don't know that I like it as much as the other one that they sent me that was in the wrong size, but it is quite cute. And you know, ladies, we should always have like a completer um, piece, if you will, whether it's a cardigan or a shawl, a jacket that we wear. And in this look, I thought that this um, suede colored, suede um, jacket that I have is quite um, beautiful with the blouse. So it's just something that I have in my closet. You can of course wear it or wear it around your shoulders, but the, the match on this was just right. So I do have a couple of comments regarding Natalie Attired because I will always uh, tell you what I think. Now, this was what they called a limited collection. And I paid, I think it was $62, and then they had like a $10 processing fee or shipping fee. I'm not quite sure what they called it, okay? But the, um, the price of the box was $62, and for those $62, I received four items. So they come out to about $15.50 per item, which is a very good deal. Now, as to their regularly priced items, each of the items had a, a tag, right? And if you um, choose to get those subscription boxes, not the limited con collection, but the subscription, then I believe that um, you are charged based on the price on the, on the items themselves, okay? So, two things. I think Natalie Attired um, considers themselves like a styling service for you. They sent me four pieces. 
two of the pieces were styled together, right? It was that other blouse with the red cardigan. That was a very good match and a very good style. The other two pieces were just one-offs. They weren't styled. It was a cardigan and a blouse, neither of which went together. And the only things that I considered a set were the cardigan and the blouse that I got. Now I understand that, you know, there was an issue with the sizing, although I sent them all my measurements and my sizes. Um, the blouse they originally sent me was too small on me, okay? So although the blouse and the cardigan were supposed to match, this blouse that they sent me as a substitute does not go with that red cardigan, okay? So if they are a styling service, and not a shopping service, then I don't know how they styled the clothing for me, to be quite honest with you, okay? On to the pricing and the quality. Someone did leave a comment on my, um, on my posting that said that their clothing is cheaply made. They are not the best quality. Okay, so for instance, the seaming on this blouse, you can, you can see that it doesn't line up right. Um, I noticed the same thing on the other blouse that they sent me, and those blouses ranged in the, I think this blouse is $36, is the marked price. Um, and the blouses that I got were between $36 and $38. Do I think I can do better for $38 or $36? Yes, I think I can shop online, choose my own items, and maybe you know get something that might be a little better quality. So those are just things that I wanted to um, let you ladies know what my thoughts were. Because I, if I tell you about an item or a product, on this channel, then I want to be 100% authentic with you guys and let you know what my true feelings are. Okay, so for $15.50, I did, that was a gangbuster deal, I think. Each of these items is easily worth $15. I'm not sure if you subscribe to the subscription. I'm not sure what the, the, I think they charge you by tiers depending upon how many items you keep in their subscription box. And I'm not sure how many items um, come with each subscription. I didn't sign up for that. I only signed up for the limited collection. Um, it's based on your coloring, on your sizing, so you wouldn't necessarily get the same thing that I received in this collection, okay? so. For the limited collection, I think I did well. Um, I'm not sure if I would subscribe to their service or any service, to be honest with you. I like to choose my own items, all right? So those are all my thoughts and I just wanted to give you an update on that. And um, back to the issues with the coloring, items that may not necessarily look their best on you. I found an app online it's called color me wise color me wise.com and it allows you to go on their system upload a picture they look at your coloring your hair coloring your eye coloring your skin color and they come up with the perfect palette for you so if any of you ladies are having difficulty figuring out what colors look best for you you may want to check into that okay so i have a couple of other things to go through with real quick with you guys and I will be back in a second with those items okay all done all right ladies I'm back um, I did also mention to you that I had purchased something online through Zulily a Chico's item and I just wanted to show you one of the items that I just received uh, within the last week or so this is that pointel sweater all right, I think it's lovely. I paired it with jeans. Okay, the, uh, the clogs that I just showed you in the other look and this snake print um, top that I got from Amazon. Actually, I think it's quite pretty. I don't know if you can see the eyelash trim. 
trim on it, but it was a great deal. I got it on Amazon and um, that's how I paired it. I am waiting for some additional items um, that are by the brand Chico's. I got them all on Zulily. I don't think they have the sale going on um, right now. But ladies, if you've never been on their website, you might want to consider um, going to their website and checking out what they have because sometimes they have name brand items for uh, very discounted prices, all right? So you might be able to get a good deal on those items. Now, a couple of other things that I just recently got in the mail are um, some items from QVC, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these items are. I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna style them today. I will style them at another time for you, but I had been interested in their brand, their loungewear brand, which is by Anybody, Anybody, and I saw these, um, these lounge pants online and I thought they were so cute because although I do like a jogger pant, they are not my favorite and a lot of the items or uh, lounge pants that they show are the jogger. And this is a wide-legged pant. It has a seam going down the leg and then it has a little opening at the at the bottom of the leg, which is quite cute and quite sexy. All right, now, it does have the elasticized waist, and this is what I have to say to you ladies about wearing elasticized waist. They're comfortable, and we all wanna be comfortable in our homes right now, especially during these times that are so challenging for us, right? But we have to be careful, ladies, that we don't get so used to wearing our elasticized pants that um, we let things go. And by that I mean, when you wear elasticized pants and you're at home and you may be watching TV more than you're used to because you're not getting out as much as you are, you might be doing a little bit more snacking, and you wear those elasticized pants, and unless you're weigh weighing yourself, um, frequently, you may not notice that you are gaining a little bit of weight, right? And that's not good at any age, ladies, right? If we can maintain a healthy weight, then that's very good for us. I, more than anyone, know the struggles of having a weight issue. If, if you guys have been on my channel, uh, have seen my videos, you know that I lost a significant amount of weight and I have been able to keep that weight off, all right? One of the key ways that I can check myself is to be sure that I try on either a pair of jeans or a pair of trousers that have a zipper and a, and a button, all right? And that keeps me in check. If I see that those pants are fitting me the least bit tight, then I need to put on the brakes, right? Eat a little, eat a little bit less ice cream, little less cookies, mashed potatoes, whatever it is that you're drawn to. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Another thing, here in Florida, our, one of our shoes of choice are flip-flops. I wear them all the time. It's warm here year round and um, we don't have much use for boots. I wear them occasionally when the weather is nice. Today we're having cool weather um, and yesterday as well and I think we're gonna have continue to have cool weather until after mm -hmm. the Christmas after Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Maybe it'll give me a chance to wear more sweaters and more winter clothes. But I wear flip flops quite a bit and my favorite pair um, were they, they were just old and they broke on me the other day. So I went onto the QVC website. Vionic is a very good um, brand that um, I have plenty of their, set, um, of their sandals. I almost said sandwiches, I have fruit, food on the brain. Plenty of their sandals and some of their wedges as well. And I found some cute flip flops or thong sandals that I wanted to share with you. I'm sorry for reaching. They were on clearance. Um, I don't know if you can see, they're like a tortoise. 
right? So they have a tortoise print and a little gold button at the front. I think I paid like $37 or $38 for this. And um, they were offering free shipping on any of the Vionic um, shoes that you might um, buy. So that was a good deal for me. And now I have a pair of flip-flops <laughs> that I can wear around the house and um, they have good support, all right? Another thing that I mentioned on one of my past videos uh, when I did a, a hair a hair tutorial on how I um, how I wash and care for my hair. I mentioned that I put it up in a bun at night. Well, ladies, I've been reading more and more, and for those of us that have thinning hair, we shouldn't do that. It causes alopecia, I think it's called, where sometimes you can have thinning, all right? So let's not do that. Instead, what I did read, is that, and I've heard this before, that silk sheets or pillowcases are very good, not only for our hair, but for our complexion. They, it actually has anti-aging uh, benefits and antimicrobial. Um, it helps your hair not to split. So I purchased a couple of items from Lily Silk. I It was a little bundle that they had. It has a, a nightcap, which I will show you and you guys will laugh a pillowcase, um, a nightcap, a sleeping mask, and then some little silk um, cotton, or not cotton balls, but little silk balls to help exfoliate your skin. So I, I'm just gonna show you, um, let me see if I can find it real quick. I should have had this opened. And these items are supposed, they, I like open them and then they close back up on me. So let me, I hope I pick up, the right one. Yep, this is the one I want to show you because you guys all know what a pillowcase looks like, okay? Um, so I bought it in this pretty taupe color. I do have an entire silk a bed ensemble that I purchased when I went to China last year. But guys, I don't know if you're of the same generation where we had living rooms that we didn't use and nice stuff that, you know, we kept for nice for I don't know when right? Sometimes they just sit there. I heard a quote today that said, when we die, we can't put a U-Haul behind a hearse. So ladies, use your stuff, right? And that's what I'm going to start doing as well. But anyway, it has this little sleeping cap that you put, you put on your head, you tuck all your hair inside, and it's supposed to help with um, anti-breakage and the pillowcase is supposed to help with um, anti-aging and that's an always a good thing right so ladies this is it for today i have gone on long that i longer than i thought i would but that's because i am long-winded i'm sorry my friends anyway i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy i will see you again real soon bye all right, you guys know I can't do this. Bye.